Joey, got a question first on the humorous side uh, about the Oscars. Uh, now, if you have okay. two Oscar statues at home and you have a young child, yeah. do those suddenly become playthings with ah. people? Ah, you know, I didn't think of that. I should bring them out <laughs> as a new toy. Uh, no, you know, they used, to, they used to live next to my bathtub, but one of them started to corrode, so I put them away now. Okay, well, a question about this movie. Now, the costume, the long dress, at the end of the day, what did Jodie Foster uh, do? What was the first thing she did when it was a wrap for the day after wearing that heavy dress? Uh, well, I, didn't wait till the, I didn't wait till I left the set to take my clothes off. I pretty much pulled the corset out as much as I possibly could and ran around with maybe a towel. <laughs> that was it. Uh, but actually, uh, because the film is shot in widescreen, a lot of the cl a lot of the shots were above the waist. So I just wore like uh, floral Hawaiian shorts uh, for most of the movie and really bad sandals. Kind of like TV anchors. There you go, like TV anchors <laughs> that are sitting in their underwear. That's right. Well, question about being on location like that. Uh, you know, who is more recognizable with the locals, uh, you or, or your co-star? Oh, Chalian Fat was mobbed constantly. He couldn't go anywhere because his films are so big over there. And, uh, you know, I would sort of, uh, you know, hold his coat while he signed autographs. It was good. Well, was that amusing for you to experience that? It was really amusing. I loved it. And uh, he deserves every minute of it. And he's such a genteel man, you know. You know, the, the dance uh, number, you know, of course, in the musical, that was a big number. Right. And it, was a, it was a real great cinematic moment in, in the film. Yes. Now, in real life, how good uh, dancers are you both? We both suck. Although, I have to say, he's much better than I am. He's taken a lot more lessons than I am, too. Um, and he was very nice about getting his foot stepped on. Because he was barefoot, and I was wearing heels. Okay. So you can believe he got some serious damage on that <laughs> night. Now, the, the whole fish out of water thing, your co-star, his English is a, kind of a new thing mm -hmm, with him. Mm -hmm. You're on location for that. Do you think that that whole fish out of water thing helped the two of you bond on the film? Oh, gosh, I never thought of it that way. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. Um, he had a lot of hard work to do, and uh, I really felt for him because he had to, you know, had to talk in that weird speech in English, and he had to learn how to do this tight, uh, this uh, Thailand martial arts. He had to learn to dance. Uh, he had to speak Thai. Um, and I pretty much just had to wear a corset and speak English. So I think he had a much harder time. He was a bigger fish than I was. You know, you know the kids are really great in this. Yeah. And I'm just thinking, you know, your experience as a child actress, you know, how helpful was that when you were acting opposite them? Oh, it was tremendously helpful. I mean, I, uh, I, I, I love working with kids. I think that there's something so true in the way that they, they won't do anything you tell them to do if they don't want to. And I love that about them. So I, I, you know, I kind of recognize when you can force them to do things and when you can't. Uh, I tried to get them excited about stuff. And uh, they were really a lot of fun. Okay. Now, a question everyone's asking you about the, the Silence of the Lambs, right. the sequel. Are, are you amazed that after, is it nine years, eight, nine years, there's still so much fascination with those characters? I'm really flattered by it, that people care so much and that they, they're anticipating the, the, the sequel so much and, uh, and that they're just as excited about it as we are. I mean, we've really been wanting to do the sequel for 10 years. We've waited this long, so uh, I just can't wait to read a script so I can say yes or no. Okay. And, and last question, I mean, I've always been interested in, in uh, autobiographies mm -hmm. by actors. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've had a, a really interesting life. Oh, thank uh, you. At some point, would you want to write an autobiography? I can pretty much guarantee you I'll never want to write an autobiography. Uh, no, I have no desire to. I feel like my entire life has been documented and uh, what little of it that I have that hasn't been documented, I'm really happy to keep to myself. <laughs> uh, yeah.